Greetings friends, Jawless Paul here. In this video, I wanted to talk about the trial rooms. These are the rooms where you see two gods symbols on a door. These rooms make you choose between two gods that you already have a boon from. The first god you choose will give you a boon and tell you something like, Ha ha, I knew I was your favorite. While the god you didn't choose will say, Hey man, I thought we had something. And then trying to murder you along with the summoned enemies. Once you defeat all the enemies, the spurned god will reappear and say something to the effect of, Oh, bother and blow, I forgive you. Just don't do it again, ha 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 ha. Glazing over the fact that they were just trying to murder you. I had a request recently asking to rank the god trials in terms of difficulty. This can be tough to do since the three biomes where you find these rooms are quite different. These are just my opinions, so take it with a grain of salt. Your experiences are likely very different from mine. Number eight, Dionysus. Our favorite wine god creates small stationary circles that deal damage if you stand in them. They are small, they are stationary. Just don't step in them. The only danger is if the fight lasts too long and he has a chance to fill the room. Number seven, Artemis. Artemis creates small, fast-moving circles. These seek after you somewhat, but are fairly easy to avoid due to how small they are and how they seem to arc across the screen without much direction. The damage can get out of control, but if you keep moving, you should be okay. Number 6. Zeus. Zeus attacks by creating circles that appear seemingly randomly. The circles appear and then after a brief moment a lightning bolt strikes in the center. Avoid standing in the circles and you will avoid damage. It sounds pretty easy but sometimes you can't seem to get out of the clumps of circles in time. Take your time and dash away once you see where the lightning bolts are going to strike. Let enemies come to you once you've found a safe spot. Number five, Ares. Ares creates a lot of medium-sized, slow-moving circles that pulse with damage. These can quickly fill the screen and are difficult to avoid. When they start to spawn, they all originate in one area, so just move to a new location and wait for enemies to follow you before engaging. Number four, Athena. Athena creates circles that provide invulnerability to your enemies. At best, these just delay killing your enemies. This is especially annoying and possibly deadly in Elysium as she can make the little souls invulnerable and then they respawn, maybe pushing her farther up the list. For some though, the delay doesn't make her very difficult, just more annoying. If you have a timer or if you're going for speed, fighting Athena can really slow you down, which can ruin a run. Number three, Poseidon. When fighting against Poseidon, he will occasionally summon waves that follow you around. Very similar to Aphrodite's heart, but instead of stunning you, the waves do damage and push you around. This is disruptive, but not as dangerous as Aphrodite's power, which we'll get to in a minute. The best thing to do is dash to new areas to avoid the wave. It isn't too difficult to avoid if you can keep an eye on it. Number two, Demeter. Demeter's attacks are super dangerous. She summons a swirling vortex that staggers you and can make it impossible to move or take actions. If you get stuck in the vortex, it can be very tough to get out. Once you see the circle spawn, move away from it and don't get stuck. This is dangerous if you don't pay attention to where the vortex will be spawned, and there is a subtle tell that you can look out for. Number one, the most difficult god for trial rooms, Aphrodite. The issue when fighting Aphrodite is she spawns a heart that follows you around and will damage you and stun you for a second if it catches you. 
As you can imagine, this one is quite annoying and can put you in very compromised situations. The thing to do here is to dash around the room quickly. Move as far away from the heart as you can before engaging enemies. It's fairly slow moving, so avoiding it isn't impossible, just annoying. Never. That does it for my trial of the God's Guide and uh, Rank. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and maybe subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. Also, I stream on Twitch. Right now it's the summer, so I'm streaming more than, than normal, but I always stream on Saturday in the morning and in the evening. Once again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you in the next one. I don't want Take to think easy. about it. Oh, man, it's too painful.